Mr. Justin Wills with Empty Pockets Racing, digging deeper, the guy right here in the pink, purple, and green shirt that drives my old rig. We need y'all to be involved. I see probably 500 people out there, maybe. Hopefully there's a 1,000. I can't count. I didn't graduate third grade. But we will need y'all's involvement for best of show. All right, I didn't hear enough of you guys. I'll need a little bit more out there. All right, let's try one more time. That's what I like to hear right there. Who we got here coming up behind me? Unfortunately, his time is up by about 30 seconds, so we're going to have to pull him off this hill. Levi just lost his chance at $7,000. Come on, man. I broke my gas pedal <laughs> on the first run. Oh, man. I was sitting there like that. <laughs>
Yeah. Love walking here. Good time. I noticed that his mama doesn't ever come. Does she not want to watch this? Let's see what Jeff. Let's not see Jeff do that. Alright, y'all give it up to Jeff Roberts. Let me get a thumbs up as soon as we can, please. Sounds like he's
56.771 for Mr. Joshua Perry.
for Mr. Wade Dude. game plan last hill you've made the first two hills last hill well aim for the stump it's gonna take commitment bend it and hope for the best
shut it down. Cahill won the best show of the night, unfortunately on his third run, which took him out of contention for the big $7,000 payday. So Kyle Cahill, you get a $1,000 gift card to Trail Ready Wheels, courtesy of Mr. Justin Wheels. That's two wheels in one sentence, how about that? With uh, Empty Pockets Racing. Coming in, sixth place was Mr. Kyle Cahill. With a combined time with the unfinished hill of 914.489. Fifth place with a combined time of 910.425, Mr. Durwood. Fourth place combined time 103.406, Mr. Joshua Parrish. Congratulations, Josh. Fourth round, I need money for you. I gave you that yesterday. Third place, combined time of 62.100, Mr. Wade Dude. Congratulations, Wade. Thanks for coming out and racing with us, brother. Second place, first time I believe he's ever collected money in an outlaw event with a 45.208. Mr. Kyle Anderson gets $1,255. That money's staying right here in Jay, Oklahoma, unless he takes it to West Texas. And I don't think I need to announce who's in first place, but we're going to anyway. This driver had 23 seconds over the rest of the field on a combined three hills with a time of 21.944. Mr. Timmy Cameron for his third big payday this weekend. Congratulations, Timmy. We got some cash right here. We got some cash for Mr. Kyle Anderson. Kyle's stack is a little bit bigger because it's got a bunch of them stripper ones in it. Timmy's got a bunch of them Hondos. Timmy, I need to borrow about $7,000. Whatever you want, dude. Thank you, sir. It's rolling out. Guys, thanks again for coming out and supporting that Labor Day weekend, which will be our finals. Our finals in 2021 will be right here, Labor Day weekend. Wade Good, Timmy Cameron, Kyle Anderson, Kyle Cahill, Josh Bird. I expect to see every one of you here. And all the 4,000 fans that were here tonight. Thank y'all for showing up. Woo! We appreciate it. So let's see, we started out the weekend uh, yesterday. I think it was going good. We uh, ran a uh, big buggy first. I was uh, I was fast on hill one, I was fast on hill two. So that got me into the top 10. Uh, so then we ran, went to UTV. I was fast on hill one on UTV. It was on an awesome lap uh, for, for hill two. Broke high gear in the tourney, like 40 foot finish line. Luckily I was able to back up put it low and finish the hill with a decent time. Uh, did, so that, that made it where I didn't do good for the day, but at least I still won the championship for UTV and the Outlaw. And so then it was on the top 10 in the in the big buggies and uh, I was on a great lap, had a pretty eight or nine second gap over the field when they first hit one and two hills. So I just needed to finish the third hill, you know, conservative. And Lord behold, uh, had some CV, had to, some balls fall out of my CV. I think I oversteered it when we jumped off that bank. I think it forced the steering farther than it Normally, normally would be turning like on flat ground. Anyways, lost the CV joint. I wasn't able to finish the, the third hills. Ended up rolling over the DNF. Uh, luckily, throughout the year, I done, done well and was able to pull on my point championship in the bouncer and UTV. So, so tonight we had the uh, seven thousand dollar bounty deal. There's three hills. It's all combined times, and um, luckily I was able to lay down good runs on all three hills. And come on with bounty money tonight also. So. It's, Cool weekend, a good weekend for me, and it's like always, sure appreciate everyone else coming out. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. Awesome. All right, everything went real good this weekend. I had a real good bounty series here. Hill one, kind of messed up a little bit, tried to make up with it on hill two and three, and got in there, got second, compete with Timmy. That's hard. 
Excellent, man. Appreciate you.